Hi there. We're going to go over how I take um, honey off a top bar hive without the use of an extractor. So it's kind of a sticky mess. So let's have at it. All right, the tools that we will use are going to be these bread knife, the screen, cake pan, we got a small container and a strainer, and we have a bin to put the bars in when we get done cutting them. All right, so we're going to start off with this bar, and what I'm going to want to do is cut away any wax that really doesn't have any honey in it and that won't go to waste. We will um, melt this wax down and we will use it um, for lip balm or things like that. Um, So we're going to take the comb and we're going to cut it from the bar. Okay, and I've got it situated so that it's on my drain pan. So I will take a look at where the bar connects and just take a run across the honey comb like this. All right. So that is free. And what we're gonna do now is just set this over here to drain what little honey is on there. And then I'm gonna take and I'm going to cut this piece into smaller pieces. Okay, and then we're going to work and then we're going to work the smaller pieces um, by cutting them and then we're going to be smushing them. The tool that we're going to use to mush them is this potato masher. And all you do, just like just like it says, is you mash this down. And you can see it coming through, dripping through the other side. Right. And then it's just a matter of working the wax. Oops.
works much better if you can take little nips at it. This method is called a crush and strain. It's called that because you crush it and then you strain it. I know, right? how much honey we have gotten. And there's more in the wax yet. This darker area is where they once had brood and they have stored pollen there as well. So this is the organic raw honey where you're getting your pollen as well. Now I will filter and I will lose some of that pollen. This is still, this is an early season honey, so it's a wildflower honey. It's going to be fairly light in color. Even this area where it's dark is going to be a light honey. Um, the dark is from the comb. Here we go. that's all of it mushed. We're going to let it set and drain and uh, then we'll strain it. Now the next step in the crush and strain method is to strain and uh, we do this first by going through a coarse filter.
Here's our pot of honey after the coarse screening. Now we're going to go to a, a finer screening. For the finer screening, we're going to use this strainer, wire mesh, and it's going to get us closer to where we want to be. So we set this up on our honey bucket, which has a honey gate on it for bottling. And then we take and pour the honey into the strainer. Now this will collect even the finer, smaller, wax particles and then the very last step is to put this honey through this funnel into this jar but before I do that I like to rig up one final filtration and that filtration will be a knee-high uh, pantyhose and uh, that will provide the final uh, filtration um, you get a new one. Don't use a used one that's nasty. Alright, then the last step is to put the cover on. Now there's a lot of air bubbles in it right now. Those air bubbles will come up and uh, potentially cause a little foam on the top. Um, I can scrape that off or I can allow the customers, tell them what it is and uh, let them scrape it off or use it. It's, it is just honey and air, so there's nothing wrong with it. All right, that's the steps that we take when we process honey through the crush and strain method. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the program. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us. Um, share it with your friends and family. And uh, thank you for watching. Alright, the tools that we're going to use are this, are this.